Jerry, you said in the build up to this that Slough are a dangerous side. They're getting results against good teams, and they've done it here at Twerton Park. Frustrating loss for your men. Yeah, um, game of two mistakes from us again, and we say that too often. The Oval games, we've said it. Um, and, and football is a game of mistakes, but they're two, two really glaring, obvious ones from us. Um, you know, the first one, just giving away possession way too easy, and it's ended up in the box. It's not like it's in an area where we can recover loads, um, and they've caught us. When we, second half, when we come back out and we get on top, we look like that side, like it was when we played Jovel, if you like, second half on Saturday. Um, in the ascendancy, loads and loads of entries in the box, loads of balls flashing across. Um, and when I say this, I say it in a way that Slough are very, very good at what they do. Um, they get a lot of bodies forward, they play forward really early, don't really play through midfield, almost go and counter press you. Um, but Wheels not had, had any saves to make really as such, so it's a mistake from us. We give away the ball and they go and score. Um, and then the second half is it's a number of mistakes. We've got a short corner, we've got 2v1 down in the far corner. We don't play the short corner. We deliver the ball, they then break on us, we retain possession, we overrun the ball in midfield. We then got to come out and we make a rash challenge. Whether we, we need to make the challenge or not, we don't know yet. We'll have a look at, look at it. And I said on the bench, the manager Scott's going to take this and we know how good he is. We've seen it all over the years and he's struck a wonderful free kick and it's gone in. So then we're having a right good go again, but we haven't, we haven't got anyone at the moment who wants to go in, really get hurt in the box, someone who's going to go in, really attack across, make it across the front of someone, gamble. I've said we're too safe. When we're attacking, we're too safe, probably because we've had such a good defensive record. We're sat in a back four and we've got a 4v2 at times when we're attacking or 4v1 or 3v1, just go and throw some more bodies on the edge of the box, take a gamble. And it's not a risk, it's a, it's a calculated, calculated risk because what it does, it stops counter-attacks. And um, we're not doing that enough. When balls are going in, it's like there's one player isolated in the box, not enough bodies around. So when it drops, it often drops to the opposition. So those are the bits we need to improve on. Look at chances in the game, but I can talk to him blue in the face about that because people are saying, well, he's talking and talking, but you've lost the game. Yeah, we've lost the game. We probably didn't deserve to lose the game, but it's two, two bad mistakes that have, um, that have cost us again. You made the substitution before half-time. Chris Lines is first league outing for nearly two months. Was there mm. any reason to do it then rather than wait for the, for the break? To be honest, I wanted to do it earlier. No disrespect. Should have done it earlier, maybe. Um, that's, that's just us tactically we needed to change it. It doesn't matter who's coming off, what personnel's coming off. Um, and Luke's been terrific for us this season, he really has. He's been, he's been fantastic and um, he's just found it a little bit difficult last couple of games. All players are going to have dips of form and we felt as if we needed to protect him. Um, just before he came off, you could see, you could visibly see he was, he was suffering a little bit. So we only done it to protect him and try to, try to go and get on the ball and try and influence the game a little bit more in possession. Wasn't a lot of play in midfield at all. They missed out their midfield. But we felt as if we could go and dominate in there then. And I thought Chris did wonderful. We went on, actually. Um, lots of really good balls over the top. I thought Oscar really came into the game down that right-hand side, him and Joe. As we said, we saw loads of balls flashing across. We feel as if Scotty maybe should do better with the header. Hasn't managed to get it on target. There's a couple there that flashed across the six-yard box. Cody hasn't quite been able to get on the end of it. Cody's header, I think, and it's cleared off the line. Mm. Again, that's my example. There's no one backing it up. So really that defender should end up in the back of the net. So someone should be running in on that and forcing him to do some emergency defending. It was a comfortable clearance off the line. Um, so those are the moments, Mark, that, that really we need to be better at. Um, there's, no, there's no loss in form. There's no lack of patterns. It's just that little bit where we need to be a bit more ruthless and... Um, and they're good at that. That's, that's, if you ask me how, how slow are as a team, I think they're great. They smother the ball. They get around as teammates. Um, they're appealing. They're falling on the floor. They're wasting time. And maybe we are a little bit too nice. Maybe we, we don't do the ugly side of the game well enough. We're a wonderful team when we're in full flow and when we dominate the ball. Like I said, our game is getting it wide. I don't care what anyone says. When we, when we get balls wide, we are a dangerous side and we've proved that all season. But the... The, the ugly bits, the ugly arts of the game, we need to be better at for sure. Because um, I don't see my back four under severe pressure. I really don't. And uh, I don't see Will pulling off loads of saves. But I can't keep saying the last few games, the, the defeats anyway, for sure, that 
we've had made bad made, made bad mistakes and um and we have done that and we haven't been able to we haven't been able to get anything out of the game and um that's a shame because we felt as if tonight is such an important moment and in fact I feel like that now I feel like this is an important moment in the season um I feel like we need to react in the right way which we we will for sure um but we need to start getting some points on the board in the league because you can easily slip out of the playoffs and that's not our target. We know already Saturday we've got a tough game and um, and we'll have to be good at the, the ugly side of the game because they'll watch the game and they'll see how we were today and um, we'll need to be better at that for sure. You said about the game on Saturday, we finally know it's going to be Colville. Obviously you couldn't be there because they played the game tonight mm -hmm. but you would have done all your preparation for it. Yeah, I've got a couple of um, reports on them. I've got a friend um, from the Midlands who's gone and watched it this evening so I'll have a report when I get home tonight and um, yeah, the hard work starts for that because... That that's an opportunity, and I say it's an opportunity because it's only an opportunity if we turn up and do the do the nitty gritty, do that ugly side first. Because undoubtedly we're going to create chances again Saturday. Are we going to get enough people wanting to get across and get cut or make make something happen in the box? Don't know. I hope so, um, because it wasn't so long ago, a few weeks ago, we we're scoring twos, threes, and fours in games, and we don't look like that in the moment. So that needs to return to our game because, as I said, balls are flashing in there. The other side of it is make sure that we're safe and secure at the back, but also take the risks, take the calculated risks at times to um, lock out on the edge of the box, stop balls coming out um, and be a bit clever with it. So those are the bits we're going to have to do. Um, it's a great opportunity, but it's only an opportunity, like I said, if we turn up and do that and we have to. So we'll do training Thursday, prepare properly um, and come in on uh, Saturday and um, try and progress if we can in that competition. It's vitally important to the supporters, vitally important to us and the football club. And it'd be lovely to have a run in the FA Trophy. You've often said about going to the well with your players. You've used pretty much the same 17 for it feels like two months or so. Mm. Now, is there any way you can add to the squad? You're staying, you made four changes today. Is it just going to be a chance of rotating now and again to keep them fresh? Yeah, we, we haven't got a bottomless pit, Mark, and um, don't talk about it very often, do we? So it's a, it's a poignant question and it's, uh, it's relevant because we can't just go and get players. We have to do business, you know, Ben at the moment is down in Haven, and that allows me to have the squad we've got. Um, yeah, we we um, we know what we've got. We know where we are. We know what we are as a club. We haven't got we haven't got endless money and a big huge budget where we can get twenty players. That's for sure. And sometimes, do you know what? That works for you because you keep a nice tight grip, knit group together, and the the camaraderie and the spirit within the group has always been very very good. It's got us a long way this season, but um, on the pitch. Now we need to see a few more leaders. We need to see that, like I said, that ruthless edge coming out in them. And they've got it. It's just trying to get it out of them. Um, and we don't want to drift this season, that's for sure. We won't allow them to drift. I, I don't think they will as a group. Um, and this, this result here is probably just a little, little wake-up call again to say, come on then, let's get back on. And it'll start Saturday. It has to start Saturday. Thanks for chatting to us and we'll see you again at the weekend. Cheers. Thanks, Cheers.